What is a share transfer form and how do you go about completing one? Hi, I'm Kimberly Shapcock, qualified chartered accountant, property investor and entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. Do you need to change the shareholding of your company? Are you looking at bringing a spouse in, children in? Maybe a business partner is stepping away from the business. In all of these transactions, part of the process is going to be to transfer the shares from one individual to another individual or company. So on that basis, there's a specific form that you need to be aware of. And today we're going to focus on that very specific form that may be part of a series of transactions that need to happen. But let's just look at this small element so that you understand what is a share transfer form and how do you go about completing it. The form that we therefore need is a J30 share transfer form, and that will be popping up on screen now. The share transfer form is a form that is used to transfer one shareholding to another. Now, this may be from a company to another company, a company to an individual, or an individual to an individual. So it's very flexible and it gives you all the options available. Now for these forms, there's no specific amount or figures or number of transfer shares that you can transfer. It is a very flexible form and it is there just to enable you to decide whether you want to change, transfer one share, 10 shares, 100 shares, you can do this all on this same form. The amount, the value, now again, you can transfer it for any value. So it could be for a pound, it could be for a hundred thousand pounds. And that is down to your determination, which you'll have done in a different stage of any transaction that you're doing for any reorganization. So let me show you how you go about filling in one of these forms. So this is our stock transfer form and the first thing we're going to put is our consideration money which is the amount of money that's being paid. We then add who is actually the company that we are dealing in the shares in. So for my example today I've just gone with Joe Bloggs Limited. We then need to put the description of what the share class is. So in this case we're doing one pound ordinary shares and that will depend what value the shares have and what type of shares they are. We then need to add in what what shares we're transferring and we've got to do this in words and we've got to do it in figures so as you can see here we've put the 10 ordinary shares in words and now we've put 10 10 units of one pound in now the next section we need to do is put in the details of the person who is basically selling or transferring the shares so we can put the name and we also need to put the address. So for this example, we have got Joe Bloggs and Joe Bloggs's address, which is High Street in Derby, which is where I am located in the world in Derbyshire. And we're putting the full postcode, full address. So we've got the postcode of DE11AB. Now, now we can move down the form further to see what else we need to fill in. Now I've shown here where Joe will sign so you can see exactly where we need to be signing the form. And then we need to add the date that the transfer happens where you can see on screen.
Now our next section that we're going to be completing is who we're actually selling it to. And for my example today, I'm just doing a transfer between Joe Blogs and Sarah Blogs, who for my case are going to be married. So again, we're going to put in her name, her address, which is at High Street, Derby, Derbyshire, DE11 AB. So you'll put again the full address of the person who is going to be buying shares. You do need to just complete the form in block capitals, as you can see with what I've just circled and what I've been doing on the form so far. And we do need to include the title of Mr. And Mrs. and Miss. Now, the second page is about the different aspects of what we're doing. So we just need to see whether any of these certificates are relevant, whether the consideration is less than a thousand, or whether it's exempt for stamp duty purposes. We then sign on the back here where appropriate in certificate one or certificate two, if they are applicable. In some cases they will be, in some cases they won't be. So this is where you may just need to check with your accountant or tax advisor to get support on when you should or shouldn't be doing these different sections of the form. So as you can see, this is certificate two and it's showing please delete the bits that you don't need and then sign where it shows sign here and then add the date at the bottom as it shows on certificate one. Now the final piece of the puzzle that we need to mention today is stamp duty. Now you might think oh but stamp duty only applies to property. No <laughs> would be the answer to that. It doesn't just apply to property it's just the rates for property are that little bit higher. So when you do a share transfer, there may be stamp duty at 0.5% of the value of the transfer. However, by using one of the share transfer forms, there is only stamp duty if the value of the transfer is over £1,000. So if the value is under £1,000, there's no stamp duty, there's no issues. If there is more than £1,000 in value, then there will be stamp duty and there is a separate process that you need to follow to submit the share transfer form, let the stamp duty office know and make the appropriate payment of the stamp duty, which is only at 0.5%. So it's not large sums of money, as you can appreciate on a thousand pounds, it's five pounds. So it's not going to be big numbers. However, it is something that you need to make sure you do within 30 days of the share transfer and you do need to make sure it's all in place. Otherwise, there are potential penalties, which obviously we want to avoid for five pounds. We don't want to be getting a penalty of something silly because we've not submitted a form within the time frame. As you can see, the process of transferring shares is quite a simple paper exercise. And there may be some stamp duty depending on the value that you're transferring. However, again, hopefully, the value of that stamp duty is relatively low in the grand scheme of things, especially compared to the stamp duty that we are incurring on our property transactions. Hopefully today you've discovered what a share transfer form is and how they work. If you've got any questions, then please do leave a comment. Please like the video and do subscribe to the channel and let's make tax less taxing.